ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The School of Love. My name is Maria and I am helping people discover their inner potential for love towards oneself and towards the others. Today I am inviting you to a new episode from the series How to Do Things or How to Be for instance, today, how to be a decent human being, a.k.a. a good enough citizen. And I'll provide, as usual, 10 guidelines to this purpose. First of all, though, a disclaimer. When I mean, when, when I say how to be a good enough citizen, this doesn't mean I am promoting medio mediocrity. I'm just delivering 10 guidelines to um, to living a life as a good citizen, as a decent human being, which with with an um, average level of contentment and um, compassion towards the others. And once one attains this level of contentment and of balanced existence, one can move forward towards um, wanting and achieving more but for the a first step on the way to becoming extraordinary is to become ordinary in a healthy sense meaning to be a good enough person and then one can strive to become an extraordinary version of him or herself and now on to the 10 guidelines First one is um, well a pretty simple one and refers to the ability to listen. Um, why exactly is that this important? Um, we live in a world in which due to this interactive um, dimension of media and mass media, everybody is able to express oneself, to express himself or herself, which means that less and less people less and less persons are willing actually to listen and to put some effort into listening um, uh, carefully and empathetically, which brings me to the second point, uh, which is empathize. empathize ref empathizing or empathy refers to the ability to feel with the other people or with a specific person in front of you. So, and um, empathy is so important because it is the glue which connects us collectively on a community or on a society level. And um, so there are several categories of empathy. Um, there is emotional empathy, which means we feel what the other person is feeling or what the other persons are feeling. There is cognitive empathy, which means we know ration, uh, rationally, we know on a, on a cerebral level what other people might be feeling. And there are many people, like for instance, and those um, on the narcissistic spectrum or all sorts of mental health issues, um, who possess this ability to cognitively empathize with someone and correspondingly to be able to uh, trigger in those persons um, specific reactions so that they uh, manipulate them into doing what they want. There is also um, proxy empathy when you feel what the other person in front of you is feeling or a more, more also a distant empathy where you empathize with uh, the news, for instance, or people being uh, experiencing hardships and being reported in the news or you can exp uh, feel empathy with a fictional character like when we read a novel or when we read poetry in spite of not of us not being um, the author or the um, the person to whom the, the respective poem is, is um, dedicated we can empathize both with the the author and with the person for whom the, the poem had been written. So number three, which relates to number two, is to do your best to understand the others rather than to be understood 
And this refers to this, this necessity. This, this is a human necessity, probably in second level on Maslow's pyramid, where we want to be understood. We want to be seen. We want to be heard in our own uh, sublimity, yeah? in our own essence. And we lose sight of the fact that um, the others want the same. And for a change, it is very healthy to do to, to this, this practice, to practice this, this ability to listen in order to understand, understand the others, rather than to listen in order to deliver an answer and in doing so in providing your own point. The fourth point is sort of shallow, nevertheless it is very important in the world we're living today. Um, dress neatly, dress neatly, elegantly and comfortably. Um, I have a separate video in which I explain exactly what this means. There are several levels um, and how to enhance this um, first impression or this, this visual impression or if you want a sensorial impression when you approach someone and when we deal with other people. And apart from, from being a, a sign of respect when we dress uh, neatly, elegantly, but also comfortably for, for ourselves. So apart from being a sign of respect towards ourselves and towards the others, it is also a gesture of supporting what we want to represent in the world. So you, you might be a genius. You might be the best person in the world. If, if you do not make a neat appearance, uh, you won't bring your point across. And if you take it from this perspective, um, this is not good. Everybody will suffer in the end. Um, number five, which relates to number three, but I had to, uh, to put number four in between because it is so important. Uh, it's part of being, being so shallow. So number five is talk in a manner which helps the others understand you. So some people think, well, um, oh, there is... The, the self-help literature is full of this idea that, um, well, um, I'm not responsible for what you understand from what I'm saying. And I think this is wrong. This is kind of, uh, yeah, not really narcissist, but anyway, it's not healthy. It's not good. And the way I mean that is um, we have to do our best to allow the others to understand us. We have to do our best to, to help the others understand us. And... Um, in the same way in which we, we must do our best to understand the others rather than seeking to be understood at all costs. We have to do our best, at least I think we have to do our best to, to bring across our point in a, as clear a manner as possible. Uh, and related to that, number six is uh, be honest, but do your best to be at least uh, polite if not kind. So I have another video in which I explain the difference between kindness and niceness. And the, the, the essence is all the, 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 the essential, the crucial difference is that in one case, we do our best in when we are being nice, we are doing our best to adapt, to adjust to the others and while losing ourselves in the process um, due to this innate need for external validation while being kind implies um, integrity. We are doing our best to be good humans, but this doesn't mean that we are lo losing our spine, that we become spineless creatures who, who essentially actually manipulate the others into validating us, into giving us a sense of uh, importance in the world. The same goes with honesty. So it's important to be honest. Um, but if you are honest and at the same time kind of cool or you're simply hurting people. So let's say you don't go as far as to be being cool, but you're hurting people with your honesty. And probably it's very necessary. More often than not, honesty is necessary. We live in such a superficial and deceitful world that someone being honest is really um, like fresh air in, in summer, nevertheless honesty hurts the others and makes them feel defensive 
or become defensive is ignoble. So being kind and honest or at least polite is is um, the golden pot if you can do it and if you cannot be polite or kind while being honest at the same time well once in a while a white lie a small white lie might go a long way so you you have to see but so honesty is actually very important number seven which relates to number six is smile sincerely with your eyes in particular so they say it is uh, very easy to fake a smile only by moving our our lips and showing our teeth which sometimes looks like le the um, legendary wolf in in uh, the fairy tale but a real smile implies the eyes and particularly the, the muscle around the eyes and with everybody still wearing masks or uh, a vast majority of people still wearing masks it is actually very difficult to see if uh, people are smiling at all um, so um, recently I have trained myself to smile with my eyes in particular in particular more than with my with my lips with my mouth and um, people are happy about that mm -hmm. so um, really train yourself to smile with your eyes to express joy and pleasure with your eyes um, rather than faking it with your mouth related to that when when you talk to someone even if when you listen to, to someone look them in their eyes not too long so that it doesn't come across as, as weird or obsessive and depending on culture this might if you do it too intensely might come across as weird so you have to see the um, the fine tuning of looking someone directly in their eyes but generally speaking from my experience in three countries Romania Germany and Japan and on two continents Europe and Asia is that when you look someone in the eyes in a balanced manner um, this is very good it opens up the space um, between you and also the availab availability of the other person number nine keep your posture straight straight because this also delivers the impression of having an open um, body language and being an available emotionally and mentally available per person in terms of non-verbal communication which is over 90 percent of what we convey to others so keep your posture straight and this combined with number five dress address neatly elegantly and comfortably should give an impression to others that um, you were um, self-confident self-secure so secure in yourself and um, you somehow so dominate the environment rather than allowing the environment to dominate you number 10 refers more to some sort of inner development in inner self-growth so know what you want as clearly as you can and improve yourself constantly so this is um, this is important because if you know what you want and if you know who you are you will never be able to know it 100 percent but the closer you are to those 100 percent uh the more fulfilled your life will feel like and the more you will feel like you are in control of who you are and um, um how the others actually perceive you so um if you know what you want and if you know who you are if you know your weaknesses if you know your strength if you know the boundary where your strength becomes your strength become your weaknesses um, this will give you a, a charisma very unique to your own individual personality so um, this would be for today thank you for listening to me and I'm looking forward to seeing you again very soon love and peace to you all